close proximity drill. Now, this is one of those drills that I got, I picked up from a guy by the name of Tom Quim, who's now the special team coordinator at the Giants, has been there for a number of years. When I was at Stanford, he was our special teams coordinator for the one year that I was there, and he did this drill, and I just like, why didn't I never, why, did, why couldn't I have thought of that? that? That makes just, it's too much like right. You know, it's like nine on seven for your kickoff return, you know? And so, so you line your guys up, and, and essentially, you're just teaching them how to get in the right leverage positions, okay? How to make their blocks, how to hit the point of attack, so they get a chance to see, you know, see that hole. You know, you know what I mean? They, you know, the, you get all these reps that, you know, running them full field, but then you get, a, you know, you, you don't get enough reps that's just seeing it the way it's supposed to look every single time for the return. And well, this teaches them how to see it. And you ain't got to run that far. You just, you just like, it's just nine on seven. You, you line your guys up in triangle relationship on the, on the kickoff return, on the kickoff co cover team, and, and they're just picking guys up, and now your returner's trying to go through it. Now, again, this is one of those drills that can be as physical as you want it. Uh, when, when I was at Utah, it, it got really darn physical. We had about two or three concussions because the head coach was like, you know, defensive guy, and he's like, we, you know, we should be, you know, I'm like, yes, sir, coach, we'll get after however you want to. So we did, and, 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 and that's what it was, and I had to start toning it down, you know. Uh, at Stanford, it was the same way. You get a concussion or two a day, you know, every time you did this drill because guys were getting after it. The guys on the kickoff team weren't going in there stopping. I don't want to get anybody hurt, you know, because I got a guy back there. I don't know where he's at. There he is, right there. <laughs> and he's looking at it, you know, if I get anybody hurt, he's like, why are we getting guys hurt, you know? So I, 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 I tend to stay away from getting guys hurt on special teams drills when, whenever possible. Obviously, there's, you know, there's, there's some attrition, but I could turn the intensity level up anytime we get ready to at the, on, on that drill, okay? And then when you're doing that drill, you teach them how to hit the hole from different areas on the field. You know, in your mind, as you're calling a play, you, you know, you sit there and say, okay, well, this is a return that I want to be over here. But what if they kick it over here? Well, you're still returning the ball. What if they kick it way over there? You're still returning the ball. Does that make sense? If you're not, whatever you're doing when the ball is way over there, they need to know what that answer is. Uh, we, we, the answer for this return is bring it, okay? So we're going to bring this return, and they got to know how to bring it. You know, there's different, different things that I'm teaching him. When the ball's in the middle, it's a vertical set, then hit it. Ball's on the, on the outside of the hash, inside set, then hit it. Ball's outside of this hash, man, just bring it. Just bring it. You don't have time to set it and hit it. You got to bring it. Backside guy's got to go where. He's, he should be looking, which is my, my off returner, should be looking for the backside uh, force guy uh, in, this, in this picture. He's looking for him there. He's not coming, but he's going to be there, especially if the ball's way over there. Yeah. All right. Any questions on that? Okay. Yes. I don't. I don't because we're not dropping back and I want the ball in a particular spot. I'm telling you where I want the ball, okay? I want the ball outside the hash this time. I want the ball in the middle. I want the ball over here. All, all we're doing is just tossing it up. It's no different than taking it and handing the ball off to the returner. I just want them to see the hole. I want to see our guys make contact. I want, I want to make sure we're all on the same page, you know. And again, like I said, your, your intensity level can change according to what you're looking for as a coach. So yeah, we just flip it up, simulate the catch. And here we go. Once we catch it, obviously we're yelling go, 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 and all those things, those mechanics to the back wedge guys that they do in their wedge setup drill. Okay.